Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another part of Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. Yes, canopy chaos. Canopies? <laughs> Are those tasty? I, I, uh, I don't know why. Yeah, I'd ask. Yes, Roman. I don't know. They're a delicacy. I don't know. Wait. I don't know why they ask you like before you start the level. Do you want to play this level? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you... Well, I mean that's what you can use. Well, the actually, yo. Yeah, exactly. You, it makes it gives you the choice of using your inventory. Yeah, I love that. I love this song so much. Yes. Yeah, it's and too bad but we're also, not gonna hear it now. That's a good beat to it. Oh, uh, it's. Yeah, but let me get into the one of the only problems that I have with this game, and it's this right here. As you can see, in order to get a puzzle piece, you need to complete this bland room of pointless bananas. And yet you get a puzzle piece, but the levels are so good, and this 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 bonus level just breaks the pace for me. I think. I don't know if you guys want to defend it. I'm going to uh, defend really a game can't. that I haven't played. Yeah, I just uh, I like them I really as can't uh, country returns. The game that I haven't played yet. Well, yeah, what I, like I mean is that returns. those it, it presents a challenge, but it's so bland and the levels are so good that it's just a it just breaks the pace. That's yeah, what I'm, that's my issue. To be honest, I, I found those really annoying in like all the Super Nintendo Donkey Kong Country games. Yeah, I was about to bring up that it but couldn't I, be as it's probably not a it probably some people probably thought the same thing about the Super Nintendo games for the when it comes to that. Yeah, and for example, with Sonic does it, but why is it a problem there and it's a problem here? Uh -huh. Now we're gonna get DuckTales in here. Well, like, the Sonic 2 special stages, I always thought those were a gigantic pace breaker. But maybe that's just because I hate them. <laughs> I hate them. Yeah. I hate them. Uh, what is Cranky Tales? Remember DuckTales? Life oh, so is <laughs> like a <laughs> hurricane. <laughs> We need to yeah, play some DuckTales Remastered. I'll play some DuckTales play some Remastered. Night instead. Record it, yo. They're both awesome. Da -da -da -da. Darkwing Duck! Oh, I, like I hope you guys up, enjoy these uh, okay, acapellas Chris, we get of it. all these songs. Remember, we are professionals. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Professionalism. But the thing is, Darkwing Duck is better. I, li I like both shows. But you'll agree yeah. that Darkwing Duck was better. If we can also way. agree that Chippendale's Rescue Rangers was better. Better than uh, Darkwing? No. Mm. And what about Darkwing Duck for NES? It was like Mega Man. It. Let's get dangerous. Da -da -da. Yeah. Darkwing That's Duck. Oh yeah, I forgot. One good plane. Talking about Donkey Kong. And then we got to Dark Wings. Yeah. And One good thing about Cranky Kong is, is that you can step on spikes, which yeah. is crucial to get some bonuses. What was that, Mario? What'd you say? Shovel Knights. What are you jumping on? Oh, that. When you're using Cranky Kong. His pogo stick. It, it, oh, it's like it's, a, yeah. a cane or something. I almost thought it yeah, was his cane. It's not a pogo stick. His beast, Jeez, guys. Did his beard just solidify? Yes. <laughs> that's what it looked like, because I'm watching, looking at this from a far distance. Wait, yo, just to make sure, was I, was I making like a really weird noise with my mic? No, no, no it's just like you just cut off. Oh, okay. <laughs> but anyway, I love this game, but I never actually beaten any of the country games from the Super Nintendo. Do you guys think I should? Yes. No. I think well, I, one and two at least. So. The third one, one feels especially pointless. two. Don't two is like the best one. Uh, I think you should get one hundred percent in one and at least beat two. You can skip three. I yeah, I think two no. is is pro, is the best of them. But my personal favorite is the first one. Well, yeah. I mean, I think 2 is the best, but the thing is, getting 100% in 2 is harder than getting 100% in Donkey Kong yeah, Country but I, 1. Yeah, but I think the gameplay was more refined in 2 than it was in 1. Though I think I... Though I have no idea why I like 1 more. 
Yeah, personally, I like one I the mean, best. Oh, what the heck's there, Mario? Eight out of eight. Nice troll, mate. <laughs> what the heck? I don't know what happened there. <laughs> the only thing that would make that more complete was Cranky Kong scolding you. Yeah, get good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I could Back in Sunday. my day, we got all the collectibles. Man, and we I liked been, it. I could have been <laughs> this in my sleep. It. Back in I my guess day, this game when needed you get 100%, more. you also get a Metroid without any clothes <laughs> on. <laughs> this game needed more Cranky Kong quotes. Yeah, yeah, those were the best parts. I saw this like picture but where it just says, "If Cranky Kong scolded you nowadays, just get good, son." <laughs> uh, wait a minute, this is a, an Easter egg I'm I'm showing right. off. If you uh, hit that ah, that thing, it. it will play the main theme of the Donkey Kong Country. It's the title screen music for, for the arcade game. Yeah, from the first that's, game. That's awesome. Also, What's the portal? and now we're introduced to the portals. The portals are basically like the hidden exits from Mario World. So if I get to a portal, then I can complete another level that if I would, you know, if I complete the level normally. Oh. Donkey Kong's running animation is so awkward. Is there any downside to getting tho those secret, secret exits? Yeah. Like in, say, because in order to, in order to comp in order to get to the temple level in each world, you need all the you need to unlock all the levels and get the the Kong letters in all the levels. The Kong emblems. Okay. I, yeah. I was just curious if there's a downside to getting the secret exits like there was in say, in say Mar the new Mario games to where you, if you get the exit, you skip a few levels. No, no. In Mario, you you skip the world. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm no, I'm I'm showing every level, but uh, later I'm gonna show, like all the levels I missed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a part with all those levels. I am, uh, but I'm no, curious what I'm you guys so think about this this team in this level because I personally think it looks beautiful. Rem remember yeah, Rayman Origins? No. I sure do. Remember Kill a Kong? <laughs> Kill a Kong Country. Yeah. Remember Electricity? <laughs> Remember Electricity? Remember Sin City? <laughs> oh, I love that book. I do too. Colors kind of confused me until I realized what they meant. And then Frank oh. Miller would go on to abuse the abuse it in in Holy Terror. You know what else I like about this game's art design? I just realized this yes. now. Yes. Um, the fact that just by the silhouette alone, you can tell what enemy is what, and you can tell what everything is. That's amazing. Yeah, everything, right. Everything has a distinct design in this game, which really adds to its charm. Like, they every ape out. has its own shape, and it's really good. They then show you what it really is, and it's something you weren't expecting, and it's getting ready to <laughs> destroy you. Oh, uh, it's not a Voltor, it's a Jigglypuff seen from above. Another thing that is really good about this game is that uh, even though it has, you can argue it has a fewer levels than most games in this genre, but every level feels different. And I love that because if you play like, say, New Super Mario Bros, you're gonna run into a level that feels exactly like one you played before. Not here. Each level and I love that. Brings, uh, each level brings something new to the table. Yeah, it's that lack exactly. of, it's that variety that most new that most new platformers seems to lack. So, just a quick question, but this still has co-op like in every other Donkey Kong Country, right? Yes, it sucks. Don't play this what? game co-op. What do you mean it sucks? Don't unless you unless you really unless you know that your partner is really good, then don't because it's just frustrating. And That's, uh, the thing it's... is. Okay, Each okay, time you die with your partner, it takes two lives away. That's one. That's just one thing. These levels are not designed for multiplayer. That's another. Actually, thing. I was th I was thinking, is the multiplayer is can you have a tag feature like in the country games that the where you die, the other person as the other monkey can take control? No, you oh. it, when you're playing single player, you can only play as Donkey Kong, and the other Kong see serve as power-ups. If you're playing multiplayer, the other person is controlling Diddy, Dixie, or Cranky. 
but the thing is, even if even if someone dies, then just a barrel appears, like in New Super Mario Bros, and you can revive them. Okay, I was actually I'm lying. Wait, crazy. Uh, you can can't play as you can play as Dixie, Diddy, and and Cranky by themselves in this game. But in order to do that, you need to you need to get 100. I I done it, but I don't show it off. You uh, can play them. Okay, you if you unlock hard mode, then you can play as them by themselves. Huh. Are they need better by themselves. Mm, yeah. Really? Who's your favorite by themselves? It's Dixie. Dixie. Uh, well, she can kind because of uh, hover. Slow yeah, hover. she hovers more than D than Diddy. Yeah, I was about to say, doesn't Diddy do that too? Diddy just sort of glides downwards. Diddy is like the knuckles, the is, while Dixie is like a shitty tails. Yeah, with See? Dixie you gain height, as with oh, uh, with okay, Diddy well. you just gain distance. So basically, Dixie is better than Diddy in every way. So, so which, is why she became, which is why she became the focus of the third game. The one that no one likes. Just... Yeah. The one that no one played. I like how that. I like that the how that how that transitioned in the country games. Uh, Diddy Kong became popular after Donkey Kong Country. He gets his own game with Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong become. I mean, Dixie Kong becomes popular next game, so Diddy is thrown out the window for a chunk for the new Kong. But the it thing is, each one keeps getting sidelined by the newcomer. But the thing is, Kitty sucked. Yeah. Kitty Kong is <laughs> awful. Yeah. Kitty Kong. But one thing that uh, I guess you can call a flaw of this game is that you can tell that they were pushing. Uh, the fact that you can play as the other Kongs, but really Dixie is the best one. There is literally no reason to play as with Diddy, and Cranky is so situational that you I I end up playing as Dixie or with Dixie most of the game. Oh. Ah, so why did they bother? Because don't you want to play as the original Donkey Kong? I guess. But anyway, minecart level. Oh, oh boy! Every Later, uh, Donkey those. Kong, Donkey Kong tradition. I look forward to these like a prostate exam. Am I the only one who likes these? I, I yeah, like. I, I love the Michael. I like the Michael. I levels. didn't care. I didn't care for them at, in the original Donkey Kong Country. One mistake, and you're going all the way back. I do praise them though. They look True. really good. Yeah, they, I will give it credit. They look gorgeous. Look at all uh, the another planes. Feature, another feature they added for this is that you can dock, and it adds uh, another level of level design, which I oh, really actually that was in uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns. Yeah. Oh, wait, that's I true. Yeah, you're you right. still need to play that game. I mean, what what version do you recommend, Justin? Uh, 3DS version. Okay. The 3DS version. You see, I haven't played the 3DS version, but it I kind of like console versions better no matter what. Part of me part of me is leaning towards the Wii version even though the motion controller is kind of turned off. So a quick question, is there anything 3D really adds besides buttons? Oh, uh, I think it adds an easy mode. Oh, that's for wussies. <laughs> yeah. Pussies. Well, what about the 3D? The 3D is good. Uh, it's not bad. I think sometimes it's really laggy though. Like, that's it. Oh, dude, uh, Robin, don't you want to play Donkey Kong Country Returns in 3D? Um, also, I don't think just downloading game. the game. I really don't suggest downloading the 3DS because it is huge. It's probably the biggest 3DS I'd game imagine. besides Smash 4. Oh, like Mike Matei's ah. dick. Oh, that was a yeah. cute. That was a cute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nothing's as big as that. The only full-sized <laughs> game I've downloaded for 3DS is Ace Attorney 5, and that's because I yeah, hate Capcom. <laughs> you mean so Capcom? I bought the game from Capcom. <laughs> Why couldn't they make it physical? Because, I don't know. Because dicking you over. Like, uh, just accept it, Roman. We, we, 
can't like have a contract with Capcom. We have to buy everything they release, yeah. no matter what, and we'll still hate you. Them. <laughs> Which, by the way, you shouldn't have bought Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom. But I that needed it. Cheap. No, I had, that is nothing. I I, I can't just have it. the worst version of Marvel's Capcom. Everyone's going to be playing Ultimate at the tournaments, and they're going to be all like, "Oh, you can't play as Phoenix right, you loser." You, you have to stick with your wallet. Look, <laughs> it was cheaper. Oh, what's this? I I oh, just no, had to. Ridiculous. Okay. I had no choice but to buy it. Because if, if I sell my copy of Marvel's Capcom 3 original version, then I can buy the Ultimate for even cheaper. It's like I pay like 10 bucks. That uh, game should have not exist. It should be DLC. It was going to, game. but then the whole tsunami hit Japan and... See, it was going to be DLC. Yeah. Fuck them. Fuck uh, them. We could talk it was more nature. About this in part three. Fuck them. They ruined Resident Evil 6.